very good morning to all the students of class 9th d uh, let's revise poetry now okay we have done all the chapters of beehive now we will be revising poetry of beehive as your first revision test will be of beehive plus writing skills okay so first uh, first this is the last point but we are going to do it first the snake trine by william wrightson ross is his full name but you can write william ross as well okay so william wrightson ross is the full name of the poet uh, the poem the snake trine now as the name of the poem you know tries trying so that word teaches us that word give us the idea okay that snake is going to do some efforts in this poem snake is making an effort yes you are right snake is making an effort in this poem but he's making a, an effort to save himself save god himself you know this poem is going it is an eye opener for all of us it is going to teach us that uh, how you know we people are having prejudices in our mind anybody will tell me the meaning of prejudice i have written here very first theme is very much clear be kind to animals never harm animals save animals anything you can write have compassion for animals uh, we should not do poaching or killing of animals but we should not have prejudices yes riyanshika very good you have written in the chat box i asked the meaning of prejudices riyanshika has written fixed beliefs we human beings we have a fixed beliefs about uh, beliefs about something or the other even about people we start having prejudices you know we start making pre judgments about people animals and creatures before even knowing them so this poem is going to teach us that we should not have prejudices a snake does not mean it will always sting you fine though snakes are considered venomous fine poisonous but it does not mean that us while seeing a snake that a first thought comes to your mind is let's kill it when when we are going somewhere we are just happen to cross by the road and then we happen to bump into a dog and immediately we think that you know that dog is going to the way you are getting scared of that dog dog is also getting scared of you fine you just see the reaction why the dog is barking at you actually in reaction he wants to save himself he wants to safeguard himself as well from you the way you have uh you can say uh, fear of that dog dog is also having the fear about you that how you will react or will you kill him or throw stones at him because they have been uh, maltreated many a times right so we people are so biased so full of prejudices that we start you know uh, treating each and every animal creature bird in a very harsh way so this point the snake trying is actually an effort made by the snake to safeguard himself from us the moment we see the snake we start hitting it we try to find out the hard objects we use a stick fine to kill it so that is to be seen that in this poet william ross has beautifully depicted that snakes uh, yes they are considered venomous but there are categories of snakes as well half knowledge is more dangerous than no knowledge one should have proper knowledge you know uh, always it will not be the same reaction of the snake so we should try to save animals we should try to save birds and insects only then this cycle will go on and on fine so we should be kind to animals is the major message given by this point so you can see on your screens the poem the snake trying most of us think of snakes as fearsome symbols of death but the snake in this poem is itself a victim who is victim who will tell me raise your hands or type in the chat box i will announce your name for that who is a victim to whom we call a victim nobody knows uh divya snake is the victim in this poem that is fine what is the meaning of the word victim yes tatiksha a person who is uh, endangered by anything the person who is endangered by anything that thing or a person animal that has a uh, danger 
the person who has danger or the insect that has danger according to you is victim upon which the crime or the wrong doing has been acted upon that person or animal or creature is victim a person or animal that is injured killed or hurt by someone or something yes for me very good okay so that becomes the victim who is at the target or negative target of others who is being affected by our wrong doings that is the victim okay exactly is that clear to you all so you should know the meaning only then it will be more clear to you so the snake trying to escape the pursuing stick which stick pursuing the stick stick is you know we are using stick to kill the snake wherever the snake is moving our stick is moving as well means we are pursuing the snake the snake trying to escape escape means he is to he wants to run away fine he wants to run away the poem describes how a snake is trying to sneak away or trying to escape from the humans who are holding sticks in their hands and while moving with sudden curvings of thin long body and while running or not running exactly while moving there are sudden curvings of thin long body you know very graceful thin long body the snake has and it starts taking curves with it how beautiful and graceful are his <coughs> shapes so according to the according to the poet according to the poet the shapes made by or the curvings created by the snake movement are so graceful they are so beautiful so you know a uh, everything is beautiful the way it is up to us how we perceive it if we perceive the snake as venomous and dangerous and irksome and fearsome we will be having negative thoughts but if we find okay this is beautiful creature the way god has created us the god has created the snake also how beautiful it is the way it is moved the way it is very graceful it is so the way we perceive it the things are like that yes you should be aware about your safety but you should not kill other creatures in the name of your safety always he glides through the water away from the stop or let him go over the water into the reeds to hide without hurt poet here says that you know this is the kind of uh, the poet here is saying that that he is you know moving through the water away from the stop is getting away from the place let me yes so when snake is moving away to save himself from the strokes of the water let him go over the water into the reeds to hide without hurt what are reeds reeds are the marsh plants with thick stems the meaning is written here you see at the side of the you can say rivers or oceans or water bodies jitni bhi hai uske paas marsh plants hote hain in which you know very less water is there creatures can you know crawl <coughs> creep and crawl over there in the thick stems so when snake sees us over there and he is there to drink water maybe with what purpose he is there uh let him go poet says let him go over the water into the reeds to hide without hurt when the moment snake notices our presence human beings a presence he wants to run away into the reeds into those marsh plants so that without hurt so that he will not get hurt by us small and green he is harmless even to children you know this is scientific fact the snakes which are very small in size and which are of green color they are not venomous there are you know particular categories the way we watch on uh, discovery channel or other channels the snakes which are very small and green in color they are less venomous or no venomous at all not at all poisonous and even they are that uh, level of the snakes that he is harmless even to children even it is not harm uh, you can say harmful for the children along the sand he lay until observed and chased away 
means unless and until we human bodies we human beings you know torture them they will be lying nearby the sand fine they will be relishing they will be enjoying their natural habitat but the moment we enter into our their habitat fine unless and until we observe them or we chase them they will be lying there the moment they notice our chasing them the moment they notice a stick kept by us or the way we are chasing them and observing them they will run away they will go away from us and now he vanishes in the ripples among the green slim reeds so the moment he notices the presence of human beings he disappears vanishes means disappears in the ripples among the ripples are those circular forms which are you know emerges for fractions of seconds on the water jo jab kuch shapes si banti hai when you just shake that water so when it a movement is there ripples can be seen on the water so ripples among the green slim reeds so these reeds when the moment we notice they notice the presence of human beings he vanishes in the ripples among the green slim reeds he just disappears he goes away ww e ross so if you cannot learn the whole name william wrightson ross you can also use ww e ross please note down clear so the message of this poem is very much clear to us actually poet is you know requesting human beings poet william ross or ww e ross is requesting to all of us that let snake relish its natural habitat let such animals birds and insects enjoy their own habitat let's not intrude into their lives you know when we get intrusion kisi ki interference fine when we get intruded by someone we do not feel good similarly when we intrude into the lives of these animals they also do not like it at all they have to run away they have to go away they have to vanish themselves uh from that moment onwards so let them relish their natural uh you can say habitat let them enjoy the way they want to live fine do not enter into their territory they want to say the poem gives the message that we should be sympathetic to animals we should not harm them we should not kill them for our own benefits fine and we should not uh be prejudice we should not have prejudice against such animals like they the snakes are venomous they must be killed so this is prejudice so we just prejudge some creature and we kill it on the grounds of that okay so this is the message given to us so now you will be giving the answers to these questions firstly textual questions what is the snake trying to escape from kon bolega jaldi se raise your hand very good what is the snake trying to escape from kisse bhag raha hai snake what is the snake trying to escape from raise your hands children yes arush answer this ma'am the snake is trying to escape from the stick pursuing the stick exactly okay the snake is trying to escape from the pursuing the stick you can mute yourself very good is it a harmful snake what is its color is it a harmful snake what is its color yes divya no it is not a harmful snake because it is green in color and it is small in size and these snakes are harmless even to children uh, it is green in color so we can say that it is harmless yes so it is not a harmful snake because of its size which is smaller and its color is green and it is considered that green and small snakes are not venomous even it is safer for small children so we cannot consider it as harmful snake third question the poet finds the snake beautiful find the words he uses to convey its beauty raise your hands children which words or phrases in the poem depict that the snake snake's beauty yes jia the poet used different words like beautiful and graceful glide small and green 
Yes, so these words convey the beauty of the snake. Beautiful, graceful, basic. Small, green, fine in that way. They are secondary, but prominent words are beautiful and graceful only. What does the poet wish for the snake? What does the poet wish for the snake? I want new students. Jaydev raised hand earlier, but not now. Jaydev, what happened? Where are you? Raise your hand. What does the poet wish for the snake? Very easy question. Divya and Arush have raised hand, but they have already given the answer. So that's why I want to give the chance to some other students. What does the poet wish for the snake? Jinki turn a chuki hai. They will not speak. Gagandeep, will you answer this? What does the poet wish for the snake? Very easy it is. Very easy. Riyanshika, what does the poet wish for the snake? Ma'am, the poet wishes for the snake that he doesn't get hurt. Yes, he does not want to hurt the snake. He wants that snake. Let the snake go into its habitat, in, into its natural habitat without uh, harming him. He does not want the snake to be harmed by anyone. Where was the snake before anyone saw it and chased it away? Where does the snake disappear? Fifth question, where was the snake before anyone saw it? Any other child, two students, same students are raising hands. Bhavansh, don't you want to answer? Surveen, would you like to answer? See, that wastes a lot of time when you do not respond to the teacher. Karanveer, are you there? Yes, ma'am. Do you know the answer, Karanveer, of this question? No? On the shore. Yes. Where was the snake before anyone saw it? So I will give chance to the students who have already given the answer. Jaydev has raised hand. Okay, fine. Jaydev, yes, you can give the answer to this question. Ma'am, the snake was along the sand until he was uh, uh, until he was out, and he disappeared. Then in the uh, in the in the reeds. Yes. Clear to all. So these are the textual questions. Okay. So everybody of you, uh, I just appreciate all the students who have participated, who have given answers, who are active enough in class as well as in online class and offline class as well. So uh, let me ask you some other questions now, extra questions based on this. The snake glides through the dash. Fill in the blanks. The snake glides through the dash. Jaldi se, very easy. Glides through the dash. Raise your hands. Yes, Divya, right answer. Raise your hands. Jaldi se. Glides through dash. The water. Yes. Jia and Divya have given the answers in the chat box. Answer is water. Yes. Next is 
the poet pleads to let the snake dash the poet pleads pleads means requests the poet pleads to let the snake dash so many answers i am getting uh go away escape hide in the reeds live diksha says hide so basically uh yes the poet pleads to let the snake go he does not want to uh, he does not want that snake should be harmed by anyone he should uh, escape also if options are given then you have to choose out of the given options but if no option is there yes let the snake go without any harm next is what is pursuing the snake what is pursuing the snake yes stick is pursuing the snake that is right answer jia has already written what is the theme of this poem you need not speak these themes theek hai jo maine board pe likha hai na usko nahi bolna hai in your own words what you have learned theme of this poem let's see who give me new words for this theme of this poem but you will not repeat the same things what i have written on the board you can speak in your own words you can change it who will answer we should not go on the appearance of the things love animals yes jade answer this ma'am the theme of this poem is not to harm animals as they also have the right to live yes equal right of existence uh, be in presence of mind that you are not for yes yes the diksha so all have given different words written phrases and also appearances are deceptive very good priyanshika yes clear so i guess the theme is very much clear to you all any doubt in this poem any word anything you can ask me